So a couple of videos after I post my TMNT breakdown, I had mentioned that the next character that I was looking forward to seeing a showcase for was Danny Phantom, and as if the Nicktoon gods have heard me, they have graced me with the Danny Phantom showcase. What's going on guys, it's Redgrave, and like I mentioned in the intro, we're gonna be taking a look at the uh, Danny Phantom showcase. This is probably the one that I've been looking forward to the most, and um, it's right here on my television, and um, I think just without further ado, let's just take a look and see what our uh, good boy Danny has to offer. I think like, much like everybody else in my sort of generation of Nicktoons, Danny Phantom was like, the one, you know? Like, we had Timmy Turner, we had Spongebob, we had Jimmy Neutron, but like, Danny Phantom was the boy, you know? Oh, I'm so excited. Danny Phantom is a mix-up type character that focuses a mix -up? on special moves that excel at close range and at exploiting opponent weaknesses. Many of his moves still that was the ghostly whale I saw. Nature allows him to jump higher than other characters. Let's begin That's with cool. With Danny Phantom's light attacks. Jab conversion. Danny Phantom's light neutral is jab. Just a single jab. Backflip back kick. Oh, he has a flash kick. That's awesome. Is ice beam. Let's talk about Danny Phantom's air light attacks. Probably the same thing, like air jab. Danny yep. Phantom's light neutral air is air slash. Oh, he actually does like a ghostly slash. That's cool. Does he have a uh, aerial flash kick? Yep. Oh, but he has the tail too. That's cool. That one has spike properties, obviously. Ooh, that's cool. And then he can combo the uh, sliding move into the uh, his other neutrals on the ground. That's cool. I think all the characters can do that, but that's kind of like cool. Strong strong neutral is <laughs> oh my god! Property of the Phantom Thermos. Wait, but it sucks in. Why is it exploding out? Come on, guys. And his Double punch. Power dash. He moves forward a bit, dealing damage. You see that's cool. Moving active hitbox for the strong. That's cool. Probably doesn't do a lot of knockback, though. Oh my god, so much range. Is ring burst. This attack has short range, but 360 degrees coverage, so it makes for a Oh my god. Move. That's cool. Is ghost loop. Active hitbox probably the and whole way through, that's cool. Power crash. He flies forward a bit, then crashes and then goes down. Floor, damage. Use I wonder if that has a spike property. Around this stage in unexpected ways. Just that's cool. Be careful where you choose to use it. Yeah, because it looks like, well, he can obviously, like, SD from that, but also, um, he can use that in the middle of the stage to sort of, like, do a mix-up of, like, going forward and then going down. So I'm imagining doing, like, air dashes with that, too. Like, air dash back, and then basically, like, heavy strong down in the air forward to come back. Basically doing almost like a double air dash into, like, a, a strong down attack. That's really cool. I actually really like that. Danny Phantom's strong dash attack is sliding ghost punch. Let's now gaze at the peak of ghost powers with Danny Phantom's special. Get rid of that. Danny Phantom's neutral special is phantasmal bolt. Ooh, full screen projectile. That deals damage to the first target, then passes through it to potentially hit another target before dissolving. It's a pretty fast projectile. Hmm. Try oh, you can. Good neutral. Danny Phantoms. You know what I wonder? I wonder if you could do um, fast falls. So almost like a uh, like a fox laser go one fast fall two. Up special is spectral leap. He I like that. While moving in the chosen direction, then reappears. At a does he do damage? He does. Damage Wait, so that's like a chic move? Oh my god, I love this already. Yep, that that's that's chic's up special. <laughs> chic and, and Zelda. Is Ghostly whale. whale. He lets mm -hmm. out a ghost whale that hits any surrounded opponents. Charge this move for a stronger scream with more knockback. Ah, oh, that's cool! I was wondering if it would be more powerful than that. challenges the opponent to get over here. Jesus. of course, the ghost zone. This is a... There's the box ghost in the background. ...with three moving platforms. This is so cool. ...sphere and attention. <laughs> I am the box ghost. 
real match. Oh man, I actually want to see this. I don't care if he's beating up a computer, I want to see this. Because I haven't really seen any Danny Phantom gameplay just from like all of the, uh, the trailers that they've shown. Teleport back up. Dang, dude. SpongeBob couldn't even recover from that. CPUs are normally really good at that. I like the music choice too on this. And then you can, on this stage, you can use the objects to bounce around. That's cool. You know what's cool about this is that the music, like the music choice here absolutely reminds me of the Danny Phantom soundtrack. This wave dash looked kind of slow though, hold on. Wave dash looked a bit slow. So I'm not sure if they were doing it like as fast as they possibly could or that's just his uh, wave dash speed. Kind of hope it's just, they were just purposely doing it slower. Jeez, what did that kill at? 63 edge of the stage didn't have enough recovery to block that's so cool so i just realized that you can't really do the um the strong down attack <laughs> oh that's so cool thank you so much for tuning in to this character showcase I love it. That was really cool, actually. I um, I think I, I am actually gonna play Danny Phantom more often than I uh, I think so. I, I don't know. Like I'm like I said in the last video, I have like nine different people that I want to main right now, but I think Danny Phantom's like right at the top right now. Um, so it's kind of cool that like his um, his down attacks, like his down light in the air and his down heavy in the air, actually have two completely different properties. Because from the most part, from what I've seen, it's like. Everybody has like a light spike and then a heavy spike, but Danny actually has like a light spike and I'm sure that the other one will spike down as well if you hit him in the air, but then he's going to SD. So I think that that's actually going to be used more for like neutral in like on the actual like stage to sort of like psych out and not really used as an actual spike unless like you absolutely want that kill confirmed, but it's gonna be extremely unsafe. But overall, I think he has a lot of potential, like really good neutral game is what it looks like. Mix up character with a lot of like mix up -y things. The only thing that I'm concerned by is that like he just looks a bit slow, um, especially with the wave dash. The wave dash just looked kind of slow, just like when comparing it to the other ones. Um, so I'm not sure if they just purposely did it slow or if that's just as fast as he can do it. So I kind of hope it's the case of like, um, you know, as much as I want to play Danny Phantom, like having each of the characters be a little more unique in that aspect as well is going to be cool too, because like, just to compare it to Melee real quick, like all of the characters in Melee have like different speeds for their wave dashes. Like obviously if you pick Luigi, like he has the easiest, um, but everybody can basically do it. Um, so it just sort of depends on the character. Like, even in, like, a game like Marvel that actually also has wave dashing, but in a different way, um, each character has to wave dash differently. Some have triangle dashes, some have extremely fast wave dashes, and other ones have, uh, really slow wave dashes. So it just depends on the character. Um, and I kind of think that that makes them a little bit more unique and makes everyone feel a little bit more different, you know? But, um, yeah, I'm really satisfied with what I saw. I'm really looking forward to, uh, getting my hands on Danny Phantom in the next like 11 days now which is crazy but I'm really I'm really glad that they showed this one because I was literally just talking about it and like it's just it was just here so really good showcase I'm, I'm very happy with how Danny uh, with how Danny operates so what do you guys think of Danny Phantom are you guys gonna play Danny Phantom or are you looking forward to other characters as well um, we still have a couple more characters that have yet to be revealed so whoever you want in the game comment below let me know um, and any other showcases that you uh, want me to see cover, again, comment below, let me know. There's a couple of them that I'm not really too interested in covering, like, in depth, so I'm going to watch them on my own. But if there's anyone that you specifically want me to see that we've just sort of talked about, uh, just let me know. And let me know your thoughts on them as well. So, thank you guys again so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked the video and you want to see more coverage of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Once the game comes out, I'm probably going to do a couple of, like, fun, like, clip videos as well of all the certain characters. Make more content around this game if you guys want to see that. And again, just let me know if you actually are interested in seeing that. And, um, I will be sure to deliver. So, thank you guys again so much for watching. Y'all have been awesome, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you next time.